Oh, gotcha. And then we oh, have we a transition uh, straight into gameplay here, which is which is great. Uh, now, I see we're starting at night here. I, I, presumably, we're kind of like clicking into some some sort of tutorial early sort of, you know, get your get your bearings uh, below you gameplay here. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Cool. So know we have like day and night modes in this game, yeah. right? We do. We do. And does it affect your racing? Does it affect sort of the environments around you? Um, it does. Night is always street racing. Day is always sanctioned racing. Mm -hmm. um, and so at night you have cops, you have traffic. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a much more hectic experience. I'm gonna say already we we got a cop right behind us, oh, chased yeah. by one cop. Now, do we see any difference in in the behavior between uh, like the police between day and night? Uh, we do. So day cops basically play by the rules. Okay. They're more <laughs> or less what you would expect a, a cop to do. Um, and at night, the cops are kind of in it for themselves a little bit. They're really? Kind of, yeah, they're kind of thrill seekers themselves. And some per personal vendettas and axes to grind. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. And so are they doing like pit maneuvers against you? And, and you see like a, a mix of some more avant-garde techniques from the cops at night? They're, they're definitely more aggressive. Okay. Yeah, they're That's more aggressive. So I know that, like, you know, the, poli the, the police and, and the pursuit of, of, you know, the law is, has been a really long-running, you know, theme with the Need for, Speed, Speed, Need for Speed series. How does it sort of evolve in, in heat here? Uh, running from the law? Yeah. So, you know, over the time that uh, I've been at Ghost and over the course of the, of the games, the cop, cop's ability to pursue and kind of provide an interesting challenge has evolved. So on, uh, on Payback, we made huge strides where the cops were much more capable of keeping up with you on this in an open world, okay. which, is, which is kind of a challenge. Uh, and then on, on this game, we've evolved it further to be a little bit more grounded, where in general, your primary goal is to, is to just outrun them. Okay. But you can still battle tactically uh, if there's a good opportunity to maybe knock a cop off your off your trail makes sense i yeah. suppose engaging in any ways i was going to decrease your speed a little bit so you just kind of want to outrun them but and, and health and health okay gotcha yeah so how how significant of a role is like your car's like health and, and durability in this uh it is very significant so when you enter night you know essentially your health is always going down and you're trying to get as much rep as you can before okay. your car wrecks or before you get busted oh, oh speaking of which might be happening here. right now Let's check this out. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. Well, sploosh. That's not great. Uh -uh. What did you do? Um. What you do to that uh, sweet ass ride? Oh no. You lost the car. He lost the car. No, Shaw. This is on you. You gonna wish you never survived. Who says he did? Oh, oh boy. Cop? What are we doing here? Sending a message. It is. Wait, wait, stop! Hey, hey, he said we're on camera back there. Shaw, hold it. Ooh, we got some tension. Yeah. <laughs> so this is how we work now. These crews gotta learn. You try making a mockery of my unit, you're gonna take the fall. Frank. You're smarter than this. You want to send a message? You need a messenger. You, get out of town. And if we see you or any of your crew around here again, you're going to be joining that car. You understand? Get up. Water. That's what he means. Right. Exactly. Right. Taking Just a swim. swim. Yeah. Just a light, brisk swim. <laughs> You can already sort of get a sense of the building storyline there. Yeah, it seems like the law enforcement has had enough, uh, and they have kind of changed their playbook a little bit. They yeah, have. There's still some tension there. Yeah, there is, and they they were very upset about losing that car. Yeah. So it starts to give you a little bit of a clue interesting. about maybe what what their motivation is. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. 
But in general as well, you know, COPS is what sets Need for Speed apart, having that dynamic. So we really wanted to take advantage of that. Yeah. Just casually walking back. Yeah. Hey, what happened, bro? Where the hell's your car? Hey. This is bullshit, Anna. Yeah, I'm out. I'm going back to Ventura and I'm taking Richie with me. But we're a crew. Not anymore. It's over. What? You just gonna walk to Ventura? Apparently. Yeah. Yep. It's a short walk. <laughs> it's cars in the water. So. <laughs> you know, public transit. Yeah, yeah, there's that. There is that. So establishing the stakes early on here then. Exactly, and giving us some insight on the the crew of cops who we'll yeah. see throughout the campaign. So yeah. those three characters, you have uh, Lieutenant Frank Mercer, and then the woman was Officer Eva Torres, okay. and then mm-hmm. Danny Shaw was the the first one on the scene. Okay, uh, and you'll see them throughout the campaign. Awesome. Yeah. How would you, how um, you know important would you say the or how big of a role does the story take take place throughout the campaign? 